Red Fox. From the girls, they have a beer tax. Kick it to her. Oops. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I get the applause all the time. Let me turn the shades on because I am, my eyes are not good today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here uh, oh, on a nice occasion. We actually have a full staff today, so I'm happy about that. That's actually really good to know. And there's not going to be any blunders like we normally, no, we don't normally have blunders. We have, we have technical difficulties that normally are good for the show. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are here to celebrate uh, not only Miriam's birthday, oh, well, she got smashed, smashed smash that day, but uh, that's okay. No, no, not the way, no, good God, these people, anyway. You don't know what I'm dealing with at this moment, but that's okay. But ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be here, again, contact me at homeinvaders at yahoo.com or my website, thehomeinvadersrightshow.com. Or on Facebook, hey, just look at my name. Contact me if you want to be a guest. Anything, sword swallower, dancer, typist, you know, if you got a specialist, you know. As long as you're a special at something, you can be here. That's okay. You can be here. All right, so let's go to the guests. Hey, you see, I got a big guest today. So from... I think that would be from your right. It would be my left to your right. So let's start there, because I don't know anybody's name at this point. So <laughs> let's start from, let's start going from there to there. Go ahead. So, so yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'm Larry Schwabacher. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, your name? <laughs> I yeah. it was going to be no, like no, 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 uh, not yet. I'm not yet. Caitlin Arismendi. Kimbra Eberly. Douglas Latourette. Lizzie Borden. Emma Borden. And Hector Bosa. They forgot me. <laughs> no, but uh, I wanted to say thank you all for coming. Thank you. Now, I wanted to talk to Kimber over here because she knows about what's happening. I don't know anything about it. I just have questions. So tell me, what's, what is this ensemble about? Okay, so yes. first of all, Hector, thank you so much for having us on your show. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. really appreciate yeah. it. Yay. And I'm going to put the floor over to Doug because this whole project started um, with Doug and him talking to me and coming up with this great idea. So, Doug, you can start it off and then we'll just... Okay, I'd love to. This yes. started mm -hmm. off with a very simple idea. Mm -hmm. Kenny Graham, who runs Hub 17, asked me to, um, I'm one of two house artists mm -hmm. at Hub 17, Kenny asked me to do an installation. Mm -hmm. And I don't normally do installations. I came up with, um, I was thinking about Grand Guignol. Mm -hmm. Grand Guignol is uh, the French theater of horror. Mm -hmm. It started in 1897. Mm -hmm and basically evolved into the horror movie theaters, uh, theater movies that we know today. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it just started with the simple seed, just the idea of Grand Guino. So it just started with the concept of let's think of something, or it just, just, oh, it just happened that you guys just started talking and then said, you know what, this is an idea. Well, Hi. Doug came up with the idea. I mean, Doug knew about this Grand Guignol for a long time, and he gave me a book to read. <laughs> and I read that book in one night, and I said, wow, this is so cool. So that's how it started, and then um, it just escalated into something that we never expected, really. Now, what made you come up with this idea, though? I mean, I understand, well, but, what, but what is it? So that people know what this is, because some people don't know what... What even that word is? I don't. Okay. The Grand Guignol was a theater yes. in Paris. Um, you, you could probably get a really good idea of it from seeing an HBO program. Um, do you remember that program? I think he's choking because he's on a TV that's okay. show. That, that's okay. That's okay. That's um, okay. Yeah, you told me the program. I, I don't know. It's still on HBO. But um, um, 
The grand, okay. the grand guignol is basically, uh, and what didn't you say it was like the the word means puppeteer or something? Yeah. Um, and it ran uh, for it a, a long time. Puppet. It started in 1897. It was mostly a uh, horror theater. Um, again, the type of horror that uh, we World know in in movies, and ended in 1962 because mm -hmm. they started making horror movies. Mm -hmm. Generally based on Penny Dreadful. Penny Dreadful was the name of the. Well, my you, head's you, gonna you, snap. You can get a great idea of uh, what Greg Enol is about if you look at the Penny Dreadful uh, program on HBO. Now let me ask you: There's more people to this, so you on the left or on my right? What was your part in this? Oh, um, I'm. Uh, I've done. Been doing theater here on the island for over 20 years, and I, uh, Mike VC told me about this. And I approached Kim. I even sent her a play, and I'm actually directing a uh, play called In Inimitable, which is written by Kimber, uh, which is starring Lizzie Borden and Emma Borden. And I also have a play I wrote called The Bond, which is going to be also in the series, which is about a joke that goes terribly wrong. So that's how I got involved. The joke that goes terribly, terribly wrong. wrong. That does not sound like my show, but thank you for take, not taking that <laughs> idea of my show. Thank goodness I didn't hear that. Thank well, you. If you take that idea, I want 20%. Yeah, yeah. 20% of nothing. Great. From CTV. Yeah. Charge CTV for that yeah. one. Okay. Now, you. What was your part in this? Um, I'm the makeup artist throughout the uh, whole thing. Right? Yes. That's her name. Caitlin. Yes. yes. Caitlin. So thank you. <laughs> it, thank you, guy. Uh, okay. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I did the special effects throughout most, well, for most of it. A lot of the blood work and regular makeup work that we need for it. Now, what made you get into the blood work scene and so forth? Um, now, how did you get through, started with that? I started off in life as a cartoon and animation type of person. I wanted to do my own comics, and somehow <laughs> that turned into doing makeup. Um, and I generally don't lean toward the beauty stuff, uh -huh. but... It's what makes the money, but I enjoy a lot of the, the horror. Beauty? Yeah, beauty makeup, like oh, weddings. Oh, and the makeup, like they do on Macy's. They, they, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, a Macy's yeah, person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All, right, all, right, all right, I understand. You know, like movie artists, they, they put makeup and so forth. Yeah. yeah. And it's oh, boy, that that makes a lot of money, right? Yeah, well, I hope so. Well, okay, good. <laughs> you wouldn't be doing it if it didn't make it, right? Now, because now, who was the worst guy you ever had to, to paint makeup on? I will not say. Oh, damn. Who's the best? I, you. Uh, uh, well, but that, that, I, I'm the best at everything, but thank you. <laughs> thank you. Now, ladies on my right, what was your part and how did you get involved? Well, I'm Emma Borden, mm -hmm. the one of the stars in The Inadmissible, mm -hmm. and I am Lizzie Borden's sister. Yes. And she is my older sister, yes. and she has always taken care of me since our mother died. Mm -hmm. And this play is about, well, what happens with the father, and I am glad that we have a chance to tell our story. Yes. Finally, it's about time, it's about time and tell the truth mm -hmm. of what happened so long ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know nothing about it. I am... Listen, you tell your story. I'm, I'm well, we, we loved our father. And what happened so long ago, I think our family, it's our, our bond, our strong bond as family, right. that, that was the true story. Were you innocent, happened. though? Well, sir, I can't answer any questions. I, I'm just saying were you innocent because I got uh, oh. the prosecutor over here that says <laughs> you were guilty. Now you uh, tell I think her. people are going to come to the Grand Guignol and they're going to find out what the story is. Yes, sister, we've always had a strong bond and it was our father's relationship with our stepmother. Mm -hmm. That's what we had difficulty with. That's yes, what true. caused the problems. Yeah. The strong bond was good with your father, but not your mother. I mean, your stepmother. Stepmother. Yes, but you yes. had a good strong bond. We had a cordial relationship with her, but I think ultimately... She wanted father's money. Ah. And property was... Property well, and was there, there was a lot of people who didn't like him and to, that would have helped in any way. 
He wasn't a popular man. Now, what's, so, what's so great about I love these ladies yes. um, because, you know, inadmissible. I'm a Lizzie Borden historian. Yes. I've studied Lizzie Borden for over 10 years, and I go to and Fall will, River every year. you will year. be writing a book soon. Yes. yes I'm in the see, process see. of writing a book. See? So, so when they came on board to do the acting, they really poured their hearts into studying the story and really up. becoming <laughs> the characters, and and that's what the Grand Guignol is all about: letting, allowing people to extend themselves even more, like to learn new a new genre. Because um, Viv never had a part like this, nor nor Mary. Right. And all of a sudden, you know, they're doing something that they've never done before, which is really exciting. No, I think this is something new. We're letting the truth come out. Well, I'm <laughs> glad you're letting the, yeah, the truth will, will set you set free. You free. Yeah, that's right. Say that. that's right. Of course, because you're, you're a magician too. But uh, the thing is, I mean, which is kind of fun, you know, because, you know, she's always saying, you're guilty, you're guilty, you're guilty. She's got proof saying that you're guilty. Now, me, on the other hand, I tend to be in the middle until you sh oh, show me the facts. Because I remember you telling me that you, when you went to the house, you actually yes. heard voices and a baby, and some crying. baby, baby crying. But that's and so a whole on. other story. That's a whole different story. Now, was Sir, there, why was, was there a baby the crying? Why I was, was there baby in crying? the barn looking for lead sinkers. Oh, I thought you said lead zeppelins. No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> lead sinkers. Oh, I'm sorry. When Ooh. my father was killed, I was in the barn. Yes. Looking for lead sinkers. Mm -hmm. Why was there a baby crying? I did she, not hear a baby oh, crying. Okay. She does it. That, that's, okay. that's no, no, another. No, 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 no. I, I like to cover all my bases. I like to cover all my bases. I also ate some pears. Oh. I'm so happy. What, the wolf, the tree that you had over there? I'm glad you did. I'm sorry, sir. I can't answer that. Okay. Fifth plane to fifth. I understand. It's going to be hard to get a good voice from you. But as for you, sir, because it, you've done this, the, what is it, the grand joke? Oh, the, the yes. grand joke. Yes. The joke turned terribly wrong. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's in the barn. Yeah, but explain a, just a tad so that people, so that people can understand what, what is it. Because you guys came, what is it, three productions, right? It's three productions? It's, um, Actually, it's five, plays. Five, plays. five plays. Five plays written by four playwrights. Okay. Um, how many actors do we have on board? Uh, well, we there's 31 people involved all together. Ooh. Yeah. So how are you going? Really on? Became, yeah. It really grew just from that seed idea. It became, Kim jumped on board. I realized I was in over my head. And this, we have so many terrific people that joined and are excited about this. Uh, yeah, so the project. rundown of the plays mm -hmm. are yeah. Lizzie Borden, right. Inadmissible, it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one is Dreams and Wishes. Mm -hmm. It's about a really old woman. Mm -hmm. The third one is The Fearless Ghost Hunter, which I also wrote. Mm -hmm. um, it's about a paranormal investigator. Mm -hmm. uh, the fourth play is Room 309, who's written, who Chris Mancuso wrote, and it's a, it's a zombie play. Basically, mm -hmm. and you know, the fifth one is the Born, yeah, which Larry wrote. Right. And we we kind of are not saying a lot about any of the right. plays. Um, but at least people they understand all have what suspense they're going to see. Yeah. In them. You know, I think I, yeah. I think it's very important to mention because we've gotten a lot of questions about it that there are five short plays. How long are the plays? Fifteen to twenty minutes on average. Well, more like. The longest one, I think, is Larry's. Yeah, it's what, 15. 15? So the more like one 10. Is 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. And all five plays will be shown. All three nights. All three nights. All three nights. Yes. That would be from what date to what day? Okay, so it's. It's a great date. Yeah, great. Oh, it's a great date. All oh, right. It's April 1st, <laughs> April Fool's Day, it starts. Ah, the day I got engaged. Uh, no, okay. <laughs> uh, no, go ahead. Um, that's a Friday night from, uh, it starts at 8, yes. and then Saturday it starts at 8. That's the day I didn't get engaged. And then April 3rd yeah. is a Sunday matinee from 3 to 5. Okay, good. Yeah. No, no, that's a good time to, to say it right now. Get it all up front, ladies and gentlemen. But you know what? Let's go to the videotape. We'll come back with more of this grand Guillaume show. All right, so let's go to the videotape. I know it's creepy, but I thought this haunted shithole flag would 
was a good place to meet to reopen every wound what a fun way to spend a saturday especially for you i know my nails look sweet i will work them into every shot even this pov my flip phone is a piece of shit so let me call you right back on my brand new motorola brick phone let's try this one speak into the cup man technology sucks hello i'll just go Shalom, buenos dias I forgot how to say hi in English Temporarily-ish Nice rhyme Hey bro, don't be cheeky Or I'll write a lovely ballad about how you used to be me What? I'm just kidding you still can't take a joke I'm so glad we spoke Don't turn this conversation into a song I won't use your real name, Steve I just swallowed a thousand lyrics I got sick of eating spaghetti For every meal So I gave you an atomic way Singing about a made up dance. You've been home all day long, and the flats are pigsty. We're pretending you're a ghost and clean up those dead flies on the sea. If you're a ghost, you can hear me, but I can't hear you. I'm just having a laugh. Where's the baby? He's in the cupboard. The cupboard? What's he doing in the cupboard? It's his favourite place, babe. Oh, my God. Come here, little fella. He's all right. Always babying him. He is a baby, you gal. Whatever. Ducky, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. And i like to thank the Key of Awesome, so let's have him. I love my audience. They're the best. The thousands and millions of people that are saying this today. Now, the religious sisters had to go away, as you can tell, when we get to the seats over there right away. I love the rhyme, but hopefully I won't do the time. But they see, religious sisters are God. Now we have Mike VC, is it? Yes. It is. The, it yes, is. yes. Now he's part of the. Yes, he's part of the group. Yes, part sure. of the, yes, part of the group. And what what is your part in all this? Uh, in the Grand Guignol program, we've got four or five plays going on. I'm acting in one of them and directing another one. And you're, in which one is the one that you're directing in? I'm directing Room 309, which is a play about Chris Mancuso that takes place in the post-apocalyptic zombie apocalypse. And that's the one redundant you there. That's the one you were talking about. Well, Chris Mancuso wrote that one, yes. 309. Ah, and you directed it, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm just directing that one. Now, how, how did you guys hook up to get the zombie, this one, the one you were talking about? 
Well, that particular one, um, yes. I joined the program as an actor. Yes. Uh, Kimbra invited me to act in her piece, mm -hmm. which is called, uh, still called The Fearless Ghost Fearless Hunter. Ghost Hunter. Yeah. Still, I love that one. We're not getting it right, but we're going to get it soon. Go ahead. So um, we, uh, we had a meeting, a production meeting, and we went through all the plays, and someone said, we need a director for this one. I said, okay, I, I can direct that one mm -hmm. while I act in, in this other one. Um, and you've had previous experience directing and acting right? correct yeah and how long have you been acting and directing all this pretty much since childhood on and off um, I've been pretty I've been active on a regular basis in local theater for about 15 years now um, I currently have a play that I wrote going in the uh, scenes from the Staten Island Ferry okay. program uh, 2016 um, I've had a couple of plays that I wrote staged by the Staten Island Playwrights Collective in the last uh, four now years what is that just in case because you know you gotta sure. remember something about Staten Island there's not information out here to tell people that things are going on. Like, this is the first time I'm hearing about this that's happening ever on Staten Island. I, something like this that we're, we're talking about now. It's the first time I'm hearing about this. Well, not the first time I'm hearing about it. But this is the first time I'm actually listening to this about this. Because it's, if you want information about anything, you have to go to Staten Island Parent, not the damn Staten Island Advance. I don't know why. This has to ha well, I have to go to Staten Island Parent to, to figure out what's happening at the St. George Theater. I don't think Staten Island Parent is going to be a big sponsor. Oh, okay. I'm all. just saying, you know, if you want information about yeah. theater and so forth, sure. you have to go yeah. to Staten Island yeah. Parent. So, not Staten Island Advance. Staten Island don't give you two for none. Well, can I go say ahead. something about um, CTV is, is really uh, Stingy. a cool... Stingy. I mean, uh, yeah. No, no CT I have to give kudos to CTV because yes. um, I'm, I met Mike here. Sure. Yeah. Um, and some other people that are on the show here. Mm. And I'm very fortunate because when, when Doug and I were discussing this and said, well, it has to be plays, I went to the right to, the, I yeah. got a chance to go right to the source and, yeah. and you I, know. I invited Larry to be part of the program. Yes, Mike and, and Larry. Th there, is, there is a lot of, see, the, well, that's the one good thing about CTV, well, on, the, on, the, on the very few things. But on the, one of the very few things that are good about t CTV is that there's a bundle of people that actually have talent. Mm -hmm. And then this is the part of the place where you can actually, you can actually shine. Now, if people want to see it, that's a whole different ballgame. But there's people here that you can, like you said, met him, met him. You meet a lot of people that you wouldn't realize. And it's an, it's an incredible source. Of, I'd, you know, I'd actually like to talk about the talent, Go ahead. too, if I get a chance. Go ahead. Um, the original idea was to recreate the Grand Guignol plays. There we had a choice of, there were 6,000 plays written for Grand Guignol over the course of that time, um, 1,000 translated into English. Um, and the group in the first meeting got together and there's just so much talent on Staten Island that they decided we have such great playwrights and actors that they wanted to do original plays in the style of Grand Guignol. So there are no plays that took from the Grand Guignol writing but these are all originally written Original. for our production now how long have you been doing this uh, well, have I'm, you I'm an artist visual right. artist and poet okay and um, never did an installation but Kenny asked me to do the installation and that was uh, this was intended to be a, a performance piece for um, I was going to try and get people together and that's where Kimber came in right. and really helped put it together <laughs> thank you Brian he, he's not a singer Thank you. <laughs> anyway, it should be on me. Anyway, no, uh, but have you taken one of your poet poems and made it into something too? Have, have you made something, not just say, but just to made, read it. Just to, to read. Just yeah. to read. You never take mm -hmm. one of your poems and made a, a play out of it. No, never. Oh, ha ha has that come up for you? Have you taken something that you said or wrote and made well, something? Absolutely, sure. Um, the play that's in the. Uh, very plays yeah, right now exactly. is a short one act play that I based on the first scene of a screenplay that I wrote. Mm -hmm. um, thanks to Larry, I got involved in the yeah. Playwrights Collective a number of years ago, and um, I just you take a spark of an idea and they give you the opportunity to put it on stage with real actors and real directors. I've had a couple, three or four plays in there, right? What? I've, I've, I've had three plays yeah. staged there, yeah. and, and it's, it's a kick. You, you, it's like a, I call it the. Um, I don't want to promote the collective too much. We're here to talk about the yeah, yeah, exactly, Yoga. exactly. But, but now I just want people to know because people don't know. I'm t well, no, we're gonna push the hell out of this. No problem. But I'm just saying, people don't know. Well, people don't know, and I'm just trying to 
tell people out there, the millions of people that are watching this, give them a little bit of insight because Staten Island is bloody boring. Okay. Well, if you want, and, and I'll come out and say it, Staten Island is boring. There's no information out there, plain and simple. Well, this, well I'm just okay. I'm sorry. No, I'm just saying. The best source of information I can think of right now is Facebook. I mean, if you're interested in local yeah, theater, exactly. there's Staten Island Playwrights and Actors, uh, there's um, the Playwrights Collective, there's CV Playwrights. And there's this one here, and, and the one we're doing here. Yeah. Right? This is probably yeah, a good time it's for the best to time talk to, about to, to, yeah. well, how to get information about yeah. Oh, how to get information? Yeah, information. Um, you just go on to www.onwavestreet.com, and street's the full word. W A V E. S T R E E T dot org. Uh, or is it dot com. com? Dot com. Okay, so for those people, uh, W A V E S T R E E T dot com. Greg, now going back to you because you've been a bit, been a big, big, well, big, 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 big. I mean, I don't want to like. Playwright. <laughs> yeah, playwright. I'm a pl I've been a playwright over tw uh, longer. Um, I've written over 130 plays, but I, I don't want to like go into I just want to briefly say the yeah. Staten Island Playwrights Collective right. I'm one of the founding members started in 2008 and has been doing short programs once a year and we do original play readings on Staten Island mm -hmm. uh, Mike just became I just Mike just became a new member of the group nice. uh, good. Congratulations. Yeah, we, we, we produced like, you know, and basically if you want Wait information about it just mm -hmm. go just go uh, SIPC Collective right. dot or uh, AOL dot or dot com. Question: well, How did you get your idea of your play? What was the concept of? How, well, how, I, I how, think how lot, did it come to fruition? Well, honestly, I've been right. I can't. I wouldn't really. But I think it has a lot to do with my I, my feelings of what is it? Seventy or eighty cheesy horror movies. Oh, name one. Name name one of those cheesies. I, I love my cheese. Talk about, I mean, like... Uh, Christopher Lee really, horror flicks. Christopher, of, Christopher right Lee now. horror flicks. Well, you're talking about The Barn, right? The Barn, yeah. The oh, Barn okay. is reminiscent of uh, the slasher films of the 80s. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Scream, yeah, thank you. maybe. <laughs> yeah. Even before Scream. Yeah. Scream was oh, already yeah. a parody. Yeah, yeah. Films. I was thinking X has nothing to do with it. But that's it. It's like all my... You know, there was a movie years ago that I watched called Five Desperate Women. Yeah, I don't know if you ever remember the ABC Family. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's all those cheesy... 80, 70 movies that this is what came out of it. You know, yeah. this is going to be some, this is going to be something. It really is. Th th this it is really going to be something because it's something well, that, There's a yeah. lot of moving parts to it because, you know, we have the, the writers, um, we have the actors, I think 17 actors in all that Ooh. are in the plays. Right. We have three special effects people on site. Mm -hmm. Um, and all these like moving parts, and it was really an incredible thing. We're still working on it right, to right, get together right. to make this whole show come together. They We're all not, very proud of it and excited about they it. They better not stop you yeah. in the car. What makes it exciting for you? <laughs> We were talking about that because I have like a bale of hay, an axe, a gallon of blood in there. You know, they're pulled over. They're like, what? What's don't, going don't, on don't. here? It's just a regular day of an artist. It's yeah. fine. Exactly. I feel bad for, for you. you. Especially for you. How do you pull it off? Well, I know how you pull it off. If Gosh. you ever get stopped, just show them your eyes and that's it. You're done. No, like but Caitlin, uh, Caitlin, let me tell you, yeah, Caitlin, go Caitlin's um, going to have her job cut out for her those three three days. Yes, there's a lot of special effects and stuff going on. Now, how do you how do you pull that off? Is it the molds are already made, and you have only a certain amount of time before the artist yeah. comes in and says, "Okay, you got to plaster this on me." I mean, yeah, it, for the most part, it's. See, actually, you it's, know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, believe it or not, um, it's uh, kind of like a teamwork. Um, some people don't see it that way. They see it's the model, the makeup artist, and that's it. But you got to work together because if the model wants to sit there and fall asleep or eat or and not be able to sit there and take it, then it's just, it doesn't work for me. That did not sound I know. Horrible. That yeah, sounded that, horrible. That, that, that sounded, that and, sounded fantastic to my ears. And, and we want to say, okay. Hector, yes. you, not were, what I meant. you were I was, fantastic. I, I was good. Like in your role. Yeah, I, I, I was good. I, Hector, I'm actually in it. doesn't know, Hector's yeah. in it. Yes. And in, in part of the grand, you know. I, I'm actually trying to downplay it because, <laughs> you know, I, I was a good, I, I was just, I was just so hard. And, and good at it. I mean, I, I didn't. 
Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was told. <laughs> that I was good at what I did, right? That I mean, fantastic. yeah, and you pulled off the look very well. Yes, somebody uh, who's accident. Exactly. You know, <laughs> like somebody who had a little accident, not the ones that's you're thinking of. Thing. Like ahead. fans, fans of Hector. Yeah. Oh yes, want to see I got him plenty of fans. Different light. Come to the Grand Ganon. Yes, please. The, for the millions of people that are out there, how many how many seats does it hold? How, how many? Oh, that's the other hold? thing. So, um, it's oh, it's a very intimate theater setting. So it's twenty five seats a night. That's it. it that's right. it. Right. So we're only selling seventy five tickets. Right. And um, they're going fast. We actually have 13 tickets left for Saturday. Save two for me. Um, all right. Uh, sa okay. save, two okay. save, save two free tickets yeah. for me. Yeah, okay. Free tickets. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> and wow. so, I'm, I might listen, this is part of the act. If nobody catches it, that's yeah. a, that's old Tiffany's story. So I think, did you, were you going to say something, Mike, about my. Well, well, that was a while oh, back. No, that was. Like, what I can tell you is this is one of the most ambitious theatrical things I've ever been a part of right. because of uh, these special effects. Um, yeah. I've never had to wear um, devices on stage to simulate blood or vomit or uh, any other bodily <laughs> function. Uh, that uh, have yeah, to that's going to be fun. And uh, just the, the concept of going from one gory play to another gory play within minutes. Yeah, that's going to be something because how do you clean up? How do you clean up when there's already blood on the floor and so forth? How do you say, all right, Please don't slip on my. On well, my, that'll oh. be our little secret. Oh, okay, that's a, okay. As long as mine and yours how, is fine. How come I feel like a lot like, of oxyclean? I'm gonna get the well. surprise of cleaning up. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you expect? You, how do you expect you're gonna earn your free tickets? Exactly. Like, I've, really, already, I've already. I've already earned. You're gonna clean up the blood. Exactly. You know. <laughs> as long as it you tastes bleed. good. Idea. As long as it tastes good, that's all that matters. If you bleed, you have to clean up your own blood. <laughs> if I bleed, I lead. No right? free tickets. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, the blood, what's it made out of? Ketchup? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen uh, yeah, yeah, I got it to. Yeah. Yeah, no, I just, I, just in um, case somebody wants to lick it or something. You know, like, okay. No, uh, the blood that we have, I don't actually... I don't know. No. Usually, isn't it? It's just normally, it's corn. like corn syrup. Um, corn, corn syrup and food coloring. I believe. Food coloring. Sometimes people yeah. use uh, jello. So like it is edible. Then. It's, it is. Eh, is it edible? I wouldn't recommend eating it. I don't think any. Why of don't you are. use jello? Jello would be nice because at least you can eat it at least. Okay. I don't that's think I've ever made this. You know more the, the thing than I would. Do for God's sake. Would it make a vampire sick? Probably. <laughs> I mean, there is blood out there that's edible. Um, I have blood that's it's zesty mint flavor. Um, okay. Oh, 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 all right. Here so, we go. All but right. I wouldn't say drink this gallon and you'll be fine. Oh, okay. Because um, oh. no. <laughs> hey, that's fine um, by me, you know. But I can't promise you. Ah, right, well, it's never a promise here. This is yeah. always something. But you know what? We've had a good time. But let's go to another video. Let's get it right this time. And we'll come back <laughs> What do you do? Is it just this old white man? You're only as old as you feel. I guess he doesn't suck. Um, thanks, I guess. I'll give him a couple bucks. Me bloody tea. I don't speak British. I'm speaking the same language as you. That just sounds like gibberish. And I'm forced to wear this big t-shirt. My other clothes cleaners and I hope this guitarist isn't a prevert man what the hell I wish somebody could tell me where I know him from woke up and yelled at Beck he's the award shows make me mad as heck who's that man I think he's from the Beatles what is that they're a grunge band from Seattle nope it took four, five seconds to write this And it might sound a little bit childish But after 45 listens you like it More than you care to admit to yourself As you hum along Still don't know what to do with this shirt Even I can't make denim sexy and they told me this was a video shoot, but 
that I suspect it's a gap I'm in love with Beyonce She would never bang Ray J That is true If she were my fiance They would call us Kanyanse Ooh, I like that And all of my singing auto-tune weeping mm -hmm. now we're chilling with this old white man is he that same old actor from Birdman? it appears that he has been knighted and he has wings maybe we should let him sing okay let him try i am sir paul mccartney the kids on twitter don't seem to know me But now I'm mates with Easy and Riri That's enough of that Can someone please call the vet For the nursing home I'm not in a bloody nursing home My wife is your age, I think Ew Nice Hey Kanye, let's go get crunkified Bye-bye Ducky Kielbasa Hi, how you doing all? We're back. I hope you enjoyed the show so far, and I hope you enjoy. Now listen here, once again, I'm giving you guys the opportunity to make something of yourselves, okay? Here's what I'm going to let you do. You give me three or four minutes of anything that it's worthwhile to put on TV, I'll put it on for you. All right? Plain and simple English. Just go to Home Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Home Invaders at Yahoo! or the home and readers right show.com or Facebook me. You know what? You know my name, Hector Bosa, the hardest, baddest, sexiest man on cable access TV. <laughs> and and, and what, 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 what was that? Okay, I'm trying to be serious here for a second. Good Lord. <laughs> and, and you guys know that I'm there for you, plain and simple. Now it's up to you guys to get off your lazy butts and do something with your lives, all right? I'm giving you the opportunity. Forget YouTube for a moment. Forget Vivio. Forget whatever. Blip TV's gone. Because I used to be on Blip TV. They're gone. They died. So, ladies and gentlemen, and kids of all ages, do something with your lives. Give me something. I mean, I get enough of everything else, so I might as well get a little more or something. But, you know what? <laughs> I, you yes. know, I just want to yes. say, yes. Yeah, um, I forgot to give people the address. Oh, we it, can give addresses? Where, where the Grand Guinea you know, Oh, yeah, is. okay. It I is, think we can give addresses. 73 Three. Wave, Wave Street. Street. W A V E Y? Just wave, W A V E. Wave, 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 Wave Street. Wave. 73 Wave Street. I had to get up. I had, my back was killing me. In Stapleton. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sta oh, don't forget Stapleton now. Now, you was, we were talking before, and this is more like your first time experience watching for, the actors first and so time forth. Experience with so, actors. please, how did they pop your cherry? Explain <laughs> how they pop your cherry so far. Well, it started with meetings, but, you know, they, they immediately, it was amazing to watch immediately right after meetings, they wanted to do rehearsals. And it was just incredible just to watch the rehearsals. I was amazed at the, the talent of the actors just in, in the rehearsals. Now, this was and they were no just, makeup, right? They were just re no makeup, just right. trying things out. Right. And I was amazed at what I was seeing. Yeah, um, it's true, Hector. Like, this is the first time for theater for me. Right. And to watch that process. Ses, I mean the Don't worry, process. you'll get it out quick. Don't yeah. worry. It, it, You're rubbing off on me. Exactly. It, it's um, this damn booze, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, headshot. Uh, okay. just, just to watch how actors learn their lines and the process they go through to become that character is amazing. I, I definitely couldn't do it, and I have a great respect for everyone that is involved with this pl these plays right. because um, there's we, we gave them a challenge, a little added um effects of horror and suspense that challenges everyone so that's what makes this particular show unique like um, <laughs> yeah the yeah. the challenge but i'm just really thankful that yeah. to have the group of people and um like i said yeah. i i would have never known them yeah, except for yeah. ctv too no of course, ctv so. is, is and a i good got place. to meet larry yeah. 
um, Caitlin, I got to meet through this. Uh, you wouldn't know the people. I mean, right. people don't know the people, the amount of people that come through here. This isn't just cable access. Yeah, cable access, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? People come through here, and you never know who you're going to yeah. find. Yeah. And that's the thing. You never know who you're going to find. It's true. I was a CD producer in the late 80s, early 90s right here. Oh, so that's how far back you go. So yeah. who, 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 was the, who was the head cheese at this point? I when don't you were there? remember. Neither do I. I so I don't blame you. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Yeah. But as a, for, so you're coming from singer, songwriter, producer, historian now, right? <laughs> now, now you're historian. Well, I always say with artists, oh, okay. artists, you know, you can be an actor, but like if you're a creative person, right. you have your hands in a little bit of everything. It's, I don't think anybody sitting on this platform right now can mm. say they only do this. You know, the, everyone here is multitasked in many different areas. Yes. Yeah, well, what you do is you do just do stuff that sounds interesting. Because I know you yeah. have a show, too. Yes, I do my show here. Go ahead. You, you can push it. You and I saw that one day, too. It's right. Good. Yeah. So you, cause it's, well, tell them to see your show, too. It's okay. My show is uh, Mike's alternate reality show. It's a, I'm not doing it consistently right now, but okay. I do have another okay. one coming up and hope to be doing them more as we move forward. I also occasionally host Kimber's music show, Raw. Yes. Real, authentic writing in music. Yes, I like that part. You see? Well, I'm <laughs> yeah. pushing everybody. What the hell? Yeah. You never know. But go ahead. Any, no, anybody, else, anybody else need to push or shove? Oh, okay. Um, now, you're com you don't do any more comics, right? Comics? Yeah, oh, no, you, not really. You stop the comics. Yeah. You're just more into the professional. Um. Yeah, I mean, I do just I do the makeup. Now I'm getting right. my cosmetology license uh, mm. to be able to do hair, so... Oh, now I know who to get my free haircut from. <laughs> wow. I mean, hey, why not? Know, like she said, you can meet a lot of good people here. They give it to you for you know. free. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, for free. For you guys, I don't know. But for me, I get for free. <laughs> now, continue, please. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, no, I'm same as what she said. I'm an artist. I don't just do makeup and hair. I, I, I paint, I draw, I do, you know, I've whatever. seen you. And Kenny shoot you. Oh, and model. model. Yes, the model. I dabble. Very good. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, very nice shots he did. You Thank know, you. I like the poses. Yeah, <laughs> start swinging. I had the privilege of photographing. Yeah, yeah, Island. yeah. I saw you too there. Yeah. That was Boy, a fun uh, day. It was that just, was... she, in front of the camera, she is just as attractive as she is in real life. It just, she just came to life. I was like, wow, that's what modeling is. And <laughs> that's why I'm the hardest. How to communicate with the camera. Exactly. It's very yeah. impressive. You're not, and that's hard to do. Yeah. Talking to the camera, and for everybody that knows here, because as producers and so forth, you got to talk to the camera and know how to go flip your hair, throw your rear ends, and say hi to people, and so yeah. It's the truth, right? Well, um, this is the first time I've been in front of a camera in a long time. I'm usually on the other end of it. Yes, or usually talking. Yeah. You see, usually well, talking or saying, you're usually interviewing people. How does it feel to be on the other end of the uh, Well, the spectrum? no, I'd, I'd rather yeah. be on the other end producing right. or, or behind the scenes rather than be in front of a camera because I'm not really a camera type person. But is it much, now for you guys, is it much easier for you to be behind the camera so you have more, in, or is it much easier for you to be act and then? So I prefer being in front of the camera. I do see myself, my dream role in life would be a, the star of a three-camera sitcom or the host of a late-night talk show. That's where I want to be, and the reason I do all this other stuff is to get me there. So uh, it's the stress of, it, it's stressful behind the camera. Right. It's stressful getting a crew to show up, making sure, yeah, that's all, true. making sure they're all doing their jobs correctly. <sighs> and, and that's my biggest challenge on camera is always worrying about what's going on behind the camera. That's my biggest pro all the time. Yeah, yeah so you, you understand. No, I, thank you, guys. No, but, seriously. But the writing has also been very rewarding. I mean, yeah. to see a play that th they're doing at the ferries, I didn't direct it, I didn't act in it. Mm -hmm. Haven't done that in a long time where I had nothing to do with the production and to see my words still working, see the right. jokes still getting the laughs where I wanted them to and seeing total strangers making my dialogue work was very thrilling. That's for you the same way? How, how does your, your mind work in all this? Oh, well, I am um, a visual artist, right. conceptual I, artist, right. um, and usually it speaks for itself, but I'm also a poet. Right. And um, just in the last, I read at uh, Richmond Hood Company. Right. Um, the every third Friday of uh, the month, and I've been doing that for about six months. And in the last three months, mm -hmm. CTV has has been uh, recording the the readings at Richmond Hood. No, so I'm in front of the camera at Richmond Hood, uh, um, 
when you say visual artist, well, I mean for the I'm, I'm talking to the pe people that don't know what that is. What what is that? Well, you ge generally traditionally you'd think painting, sculpture, okay. and make uh, conceptual art, which is in the form of uh, um, th 3D wall constructions and generally made out of found objects that tell narratives, tell stories. And how did that come about? You well, go to I school for no, this? No, I, yeah, I went to School of Visual Arts. When oh, okay. Uh, and uh, plug for School of Visual Arts, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, they're not giving you anything for it, that's for damn sure. <laughs> no, but this is just the passion that you like pursuing in the poetry. Exactly, then I worked for a long time and I was injured on the job and um, now actually I, I don't make my own art, I have to have my art uh, so it's all about the idea the art is actually uh, fabricated for me I just give the instructions and the art is generally fabricated for me good I'm looking to see a statue of myself <laughs> I, I'm looking to see that one three a 3d of me imagine that woohoo that's gonna be fun now, Kim same way with you is it same question which is I don't know what the I damn I question was no <laughs> <laughs> no you said before so did I at this moment but here, here, here's why I psych everybody out and act like I know what I'm talking about. The question was, you already said that you like being behind the camera, but how is it being in front of the camera? And do you, you know you enjoy more behind the camera. Why is it that you enjoy more behind the camera? Than well, I think everybody has their strengths, yeah. you know, in, in what they do. And my strength has always been producing and getting people together and getting the job done and um, re you know, just recruiting. What would be your Jeep dream job? W w My dream yeah, job yeah, would be, yeah. first of all, to, to be, be retired, <laughs> not have to work it. Yeah, I exactly. <coughs> yeah. Day job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. work at my day job. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Oh, there she goes drinking a vodka. Very good. Um, probably playing music. You know, music has always been my my first first love, and always will be. Music is in the in the blood. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, that would be it. But um, And Bonnie Raitt, by the way, 70 years old, just released another CD. Good for Which her. is phenomenal. I mean, it's really good. So I can appreciate the older musicians. Older generation. Know, still, still kicking it up. Hot dang. So. <laughs> no, but here's the thing with that, too. How do you promote now a record these days? It's hard to do that now. Mm -hmm. It, yeah, you know, honestly, That's yeah, another show in it, itself, too. I know. I'm just saying, you know, you talk <laughs> about Bonnie Ray. Hey, you just gave me the idea. I just uh, f figured Sorry. out how to say it. But uh, no, that's, that's okay. It's okay. You know, I'm just figured it's hard to produce something out there because it's not like the old days we used to go to radio shows and see programs. So it's not like the old days we used to tile records. I in, think um, in music, in film, in publishing, everything has changed. Yeah. And it, most of all of it has become online. So you are your own product, basically. Well, the internet has been a blessing and a curse. It's been a blessing because yeah. anybody can now participate in the entertainment industry, yeah. if you will, yeah. between YouTube for films and uh, other websites for music. Yeah. Um, however, get people to find you is very difficult. Now, yeah. Is it a cursing for you or is it a blessing for you? What? As far as Everything, right. though. Media. Well, Media I'm in more, general. I'm more, I think more of the opposite of Mike. You I, I be like behind to the create camera. the venue, create the show, mm. produce the show, and that's where I find it in my writing. That's what I like, but I'm also willing to jump up front if I have to, uh, mm. talk or whatever. I've been on a lot of different shows in front of the camera in CTV when I was here. You've mm. been on my show as well. Oh, I've done his good. show, yeah. I've done Christine Schiavone's show, who's behind the camera Yes, there. Christine Schiavone, <laughs> yeah. Let's thank Christine and Miriam. Don't forget to yeah. watch their shows as well. And, and, and I, Brian yeah. and Guy, that's back there too. Yeah, I'm actually I'm actually having a book come out. I'm having a book published in oh. my plays this year, Good. coming out this time when Mike. And the Bond's in it, right? The Bond, this Bond is in that. It's going to Good. be in that um, book. I'm, I'm published. glad I'm going to get a free copy. I, I just that. love That's creating, and I also love bringing new talent. Um, basically, when I do a show, I'll use someone that may not be as wanting to be on stage, and I'll take a chance with it, someone who's never been on stage and with the stuff I've done so. and videos I've done. And that's how I work. I like, I guess I'm a, like an idol maker in a way. <laughs> oh, okay. That's good if you want to say that. Yeah. Oh, I mean, if you know, you're you going to give you a prop, yeah. you might as well pat yourself yeah. on the back, too. Yeah, you I never mean, know who's going to yeah. stab you. I mean, like, I'm willing. I mean, I've written over 100. I've had a show 
called Larry's Women, which is all original monologues I wrote that has been performed all over the island and in the city and stuff. Cool. And Don't Tell Mama. So I, I'm a, an event maker. I like to uh, create events for people. Now, to do here's, a, here's a good one. Now, if you had to use me in one of your plays, yeah. what would it be? Oh, I don't know. I have so many different plays. You oh, for me? You you probably fit in any something like that. I fit in something, all right. Yeah. But you could be uh, murder victim too. No yeah, yeah exactly. I'm I'm a victim. I'm <laughs> always a victim. No, because yeah, I, let yeah. me see. I have been a priest, a gangster, mm -hmm. dead person, life person, a uh, wrestler. Oh. Wow, well, talking, I, 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 talking about wrestling, I had put Mike in a play. He played a wrestler, and uh, a wrestler him and Brooke. And <laughs> every <laughs> every night, I had to worry because he did the unitary stage. They would change the blocking, and they would get closer and closer to the end of the stage. Oh, oh goodness! And now, now yeah. Caitlin, same with you. Yeah. We, do you want to be in front, or do you want to be in the? Do you want to be in the back or in the front? <laughs> yes, uh, that sounds yeah, wrong, yeah, but damn it, I'm gonna <laughs> say it anyway. <laughs> Um, I don't mind being in front of the camera. Uh, right. I've never done acting. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't think. I mean, unless kindergarten counts, but no. Kindergarten counts. Um. Kindergarten <laughs> counts. I'm a little um. teapot show. I, just don't know. I was the cowardly exactly. lion, all right. It, it was I the played way. that well. Yeah, very um. good. Congratulations. <laughs> but no, I. I mean, the modeling thing is something that my uh, my mom did when she was younger. She was also a cosmetologist too. Um, yeah. And she sees me, like the modeling photos that Kenny's taken. Like fifty style. Me, yeah, and right, she's yeah, yeah. like, oh, why don't you do that? But at the same time, I get so much joy from the makeup and the art that I can create that it's right. just, I mean, to see somebody turned into, like, a zombie or a full body painting or something, and it's like, yeah, that's what I did. Because you made, you made mine very good. Yeah, that was you nice. made It was good. I'm sorry I scared the hell out of you. <laughs> it's okay. Twice, not once, but twice. I had to do it. <laughs> but you know what? Let's go to one more video. And then we'll wrap it up after this important message. Miss a worldwide immortality. You know I'll never die. I rhyme bookie wookie snooky and tickle pickle and pants, but I don't know why. <laughs> Gonna sing songs and bad raps until you fall down and say, please retire. But I ain't never going quiet and I'm on a dolly diet. You should try it by the fire. I know you love me, but you hate me, but you love me, but you hate me, but you love me, and you don't know why. I'm like a little fancy baby or an alcoholic Furby, and I'm unfireable. <laughs> what are you doing here, Pee Wee? <laughs> this is not your theme song, technically. I changed like a note or two. Now go on, scram. I saw, I drank, I sponsored. Or should I say I sponsored? I saw, I drank. Ain't no way to stop me, senoritas really want me, even though I'm four foot eight. Now chop chop cookie, cause I hired you to boogie dance faster or you won't get paid. See you later, get it, gotta find a little way to who I pay to play the ukulele. I got soul, and I'm super dead. I just stole that from Dan Brown because he's dead. You may ask, just who I am? Nobody. They told me to show up here at 9 a.m. I'm just some guy. Fired. Fireable. Sorry, John Ryan, I'm gonna have to let you go. You know, ideally we would want someone who is good at music for this part. Damn it, Pee Wee, get out of here! Seriously, what do I pay my security guys for? To stand around and look at the models? That's my job. <laughs> now some young gun may sing on one, but that don't mean no thing. Cause as a matter of fact, as per my contract, I make exactly one song per day. Did we get it? It's time for another with that country brother, the guy from Let Her Cry. I told Hootie to report to me for duty, and he said, I, I, but I can't sing hi. I'm so glad for this gig. Do you remember 94 when I was big? So I shows with my beard. Blow some blowfish. And now nobody wants to hold my hand. I'm not Damn, man, that's terrible. And that, that's something coming from me. I guess what we would describe you as technically is, uh, fireable. Sorry, Hootie. Tell the blowfish I said, Dolly. Oh, no, it's that part again. Uh, we forgot to put out the peewee traps. Uh, You're going to be the victim of a pitbull attack. 
but the way you dress is so amazing in fact i think i have that suit was it straight from the rack hey wait a minute peewee because i'm taking it back how'd you like to sing with me on all of my tracks because even though some people say your antics are whack just like me you see you can never be sacked and that makes us unfireable <laughs> that's awesome i gotta get me some of them shoes <laughs> I get, get out of here hootie you're still fired is there nothing i can do nope okay as you can see, yes, that, yeah, Pee-wee's Herman on Netflix. I don't want to push it because they're not paying me. But, uh, yeah, it was on, no, it's on Netflix, March 18th. It's supposed to start at March 18th, but it, it's it's a series that they're doing on Netflix. All right. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, hi. We're back. And we killed three minutes more of that. I, I want to thank again Christine. Right, Christine Chavon, Miriam Silver, Brian LaPaola, and Guy Cormier for being here for me. And I'd like to thank all the rest of the other people. Oh yeah, Kenny Graham, I can't forget Kenny because he was losing his head for a moment there. And uh, who else do I thank? Eileen. Oh, Eileen, Eileen. Yeah, Eileen, let me thank Eileen. Oh yeah, Hi. thank you Eileen, thank you. Thank you, I, I appreciate it, thank you. Thank you. No, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, no, I'm going to get a lot of heat for this. I know it. I've, but, well, I've already been roasted enough as it is over here. But um, again, if you if people want to contact you, wh where can they contact you? Contact me? Uh, yeah, contact you. El Schwab. Uh, the microphone. Don't forget. Oh, uh, yeah, the microphone like, oh, would help, like right? right, right. Like, yeah, it's like holding all right, the yeah? um, You can contact me through um, SIP Collective. Dot AOL at AOL.com. That's the Playwrights Collective. Right. Hey, Caitlin, if they want to contact Larry. you, my, you um, my email is way too long. Oh, to Facebook. Say. How about Facebook? Um, if, if it, the you. best way would be um, no, Facebook, okay. but it's uh, Facebook.com slash makeup by Caitlin A. Okay. Go to her. See, Caitlin A. Facebook. It's a lot faster Simple. than my email. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mine's Kimbra Eberly.net. Um, Facebook, uh, Douglas LaTourette and Douglas LaTourette Art. Mike? Uh, why don't we just take uh, Facebook? I'm Mike V's man on Facebook. See? He's a V man. Yeah. Never heard of a D man. <laughs> I like um, these. I just want to say something about the space. We yeah. have some artists, too, that have been working on um, the, the interior design of the space and also the outside. So, you and know, carpentry too, too. and carpentry work that has been done. So I just want to do a shout out for them because yeah. there's a lot of behind the scenes things that are going on that people don't realize, like what it, the amount of work it takes to put on a production like that. Let's show the poster and let him give him one last look. See, right there. Okay, now if I like to talk over this, but... You can roll the credits. I don't care at this point in time. I'm done. Stick a fork in me. Everybody said their goodbyes and their hellos. Yeah, where the hell did I hear that from? Everybody can say their hellos and goodbyes, but, oh, that's a Billy Joel song, damn it. Goodbye. If you want to contact me, homeinvaders at yahoo.com. What do you want? We want Good God. <laughs> oh, the hell with it. <laughs> Beyonce O's, Beyonce O's Make some flowers, cereal bowl oh, oh. Don't be hating on my cereal game Breakfast just got a brand new name Four out of five bad bitches agree You need a diet, but your vitamin B Put your spoons up, yum, yum, yum Yum, 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 yum Beyonce And each bowl of Beyonce O's Contains next level Blue eyes, single ladies, Illuminati, Starboard. Beyonce O's are nutritious and delicious. They give my kids the energy they need for a full day of wild and out. <laughs> Did I say that right? Is that right? Beyonce O's for boys and girls gives you fuel to run the world. Mom, can I keep the prize? Beyonce O's, you can't lose. Keep testing. Beyonce O's is the greatest breakfast cereal of all time. 
Better than Taylor Swifties, better than crummy bunches of Beck. Katy Perrios ain't even in the same league, fam. No, I will not let you finish you whack ass breakfast. Or you could be having the greatest cereal of all time. Beyonce, O's. I wake up like this, and so can you, with Beyonce. Mmm. Uh, I don't want to interrupt the concert, but the kids have to get to school. Beyonce? Beyonce is only available to titles.